Here's the circuit we're going to be using. Not very complicated. All the way to the left, you can see the input. And the audio signal is going to go through that dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor to the base of the transistor. And the bias setup that I have, you can see at the top, we got 12 volts and goes through a 10k ohm resistor and then through a 50k variable and then a 10k variable going down through a 100 ohm resistor to ground. Now that 100 ohm resistor and the 10k ohm resistor at the top are there so that if I turn the 50k all the way up and I turn the 10k all the way down I don't have a direct short across my 12 volt supply. Uh, this setup works very well. I can vary the top resistor and then the bottom resistor to get an, a really nice signal, sine wave signal. And when I do, I'll stop and uh, measure the total resistance of the two resistors at the top and the total resistors of the two at the bottom and also measure the DC voltage, the bias voltage that, that is on the transistor. And we're going to start with a load resistor that's on the collector of the transistor. We're going to start there at 2,200 ohms. And when we have a nice signal, like I said, I'm going to take the measurements and then I'm not going to do anything else to the variable resistors. I'm just going to change the load resistor from 2200 to 10K and we'll see what that does to the bias of this transistor. Here's the build for the circuit. It's, uh, there's not too much to it as you saw in the wiring diagram. The two variable resistors the one that's farthest to the left, that's the one that's on the bottom and that goes to ground. And the other one on the right, that's the one that goes to the positive of the power supply. Okay, the circuit is on. And the two variable resistors are set somewhere, I don't know where. I'm just going to start turning the top one, that's the one that is uh, closest to B+. Plus. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks like a pretty nice waveform. Now I'm going to turn the bottom one. Oh, no. Now I'm turning the top one. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. This is the bottom. I'm moving it away from ground. Okay. Too far. Now I'm back on the top. And I'm moving it away from B+. Plus. Okay, I actually can't go any farther. So, I'm turning the bottom one a little bit farther away from ground. That's looking still pretty nice. We're trying to get the largest signal we can. Oops, it's beginning to flatten out there. So, looks like this is it for this setup. So, I'm going to stop and write down the voltage and resistance settings. And then we'll start up again. 
Okay, I took the measurements and what we had on the voltage on the base was 1.4 volts, 4 or 5 volts, and the upper resistance was 59k, and the lower resistance was uh, 9.82k. Now, and that's with a load on that transistor of uh, uh, 2,200 ohms. Now I'm going to change the load, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to change the load from 2K200 to 10K. Okay. Let's see, do I have it plugged in? No. Move it over one more. There we go. Let me make sure I have that plugged in. Yes, I do. Okay. So everything went wacko when I changed the resistance of the load. So, let's see if we can't dial this in. And, well, there's a little something there. Oh, okay, that's all the way down there. Let's see. Okay, now the upper. Uh, variable is uh, all the way away from or the most ohms it can be from B plus and now I'm turning the bottom one and now we got flat top Okay, it's okay. There's definitely a flat top there. Let's see. I'm gonna have to change the setting on the scope. Uh, let's see here. Let me do an auto here. That'd be the fastest. Okay. Change the scale. Okay, there's flat bottom. Okay, bottom peaks look pretty good. Let me change the upper resistor a little bit. No. I'm going to change the bottom. Okay, uh, it's beginning to look pretty good there. Bottomed out there. Okay, now I'm gonna. Now I'm on the upper resistor. Okay, and it's up all the way. Okay, the that looks pretty good. Not as nice as the first setup. Okay, that's the bottom one that I'm changing. Okay. Okay. I'm just changing. Okay. Uh, looks like that's about it. A nicer looking peak at the top. If I move anything else, it changes. Okay, so 
that's it for a load of 10k and that's something that you have to think about too it's not only biasing the transistor but what are you going to drive with it uh, as you can see it makes a big difference now I'm going to pause the video and uh, take readings again and I'll be right back let's see the voltage on the base red uh, dot 757 the top resistor total was 44.7 and the bottom resistor was 4005 these results have surprised me but this is the first time I did a comparison like this and these results with the 2200 ohm resistor that's normally what I run into because I, when I'm using a transistor I'm using a thousand to two thousand ohm load so this is what I expect but when I changed that load to 10k I was surprised as to the results it makes sense but uh, hadn't thought about it like this before so with the 2200 ohm load we have a 1.45 volts DC and then when we go to 10k we've got a dot 757 volts this is really interesting just changing the load changes a lot of stuff in that circuit. Thanks for watching.